There's supposed to be a campground here? There's not a sign for it. Is this like a secret campground? Okay, but you don't know if it's a dead end or... I mean, it could no be a sign. dead end. There's nothing. But there's no sign that says it's a dead end, so it may not be a dead end. <laughs> but it did say camping, right? To the no. right. No. I'm getting heart palpitations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm shutting off the video. this again and this has a sign yes we see a sign but hey we saw a moose on that other wrong turn yes. so that was worth it now I want to go back and hunt them down that worked out really good Ooh. a little fish cleaning yeah some okay. sort of campground hmm. yeah. so are we gonna see a volcano from here I think there's a lot of volcanoes across the Cook Inlet. Oh, here comes a boat. Go, 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 go. Oh, the bushes, I missed it. Wow. Oh, and a moose. Oh, we're so staying here. Okay, I'm shutting off the video. All right, what do you think about this place? <laughs> I've got a moose over there. We've got eagles like everywhere. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> I don't know where to start. So maybe more than just a oh, couple of nights? Maybe. This place is awesome. <laughs> Beautiful morning on the KP here at Deep Creek. Boats are launching, water is receding, and the birds and wildlife are enjoying easy access to what's left stranded. Oh baby, baby, please, I'm begging on my knees, won't you listen my hands, shake a shiver down the spine. Step, I wonder if only you'd understand Cause my heart breaks Oh baby, baby, please I'm begging on my knees Won't you listen, my hands shake A shiver down my spine It happens every time Can't you see that my heart takes
big old burger of yours. I know. That's huge. It is really big. Lunch at Anchor Point. Mm -hmm. Not far from Homer. Mm -hmm. It's really nice, beautiful. It's a gorgeous view. Beautiful view across uh, Cook Inlet. Mm -hmm. The burger's pretty good, too. Yeah, and my BLT on a bun. Yeah. And my BT. Well, and my. <laughs> shoot. And my BLT on a bun's pretty good, too. <laughs> <laughs> you also wanted to come out and check out the campground, too, here. Yeah, there's a couple campgrounds mm -hmm. here, a little more organized of a mm -hmm. campground than where we're at, but man. I like ours much better. I love I the like view. I like the view. I like the beach. It's prettier. I mean, this has got just a ton of kelp, and it smells. <laughs> I mean, even I can smell it. Yeah, but the view is gorgeous. Gorgeous view. And so we thought we'd have a nice lunch mm -hmm. with a view. Yeah. You know, there could be worse places where I could cut your hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice view. It sure is. Mount Redoubt. Cook Inlet, and don't know how to pronounce. Oh, wow. We are heading out, leaving our campground site for the last several days. I don't want to leave. <laughs> that was so nice. You were kind of enjoying that. I was. That I mean, just so we started off by going from Soldatna down to Deep Creek. Well, actually, you wanted to go to Anchor Point. Well, I was thinking of going in the area, but I'm glad I yeah. chose Deep Creek. Right. And so coming down, we saw all these moose, which were really cool to see. So that kind of set the stage, the expectation, the appetizer. Yes. And then we pulled into the campground, and there was a moose there in the marsh. Right there. And the campground is nestled right in between the a marshy area with the creek and then the beach. And the ocean. And the ocean. Yes. And oh my goodness, there must be 50 resident eagles there, 50 Man. or 100. I, I Easily. lost count. Easily. Um, yep. We were and so close that we got to hear the ocean at night. It was nice. Because Very there were nice. no generators, because we were pretty much the only ones there. Yeah, it was. that was really nice. That was. And peaceful. And yeah. mm -hmm. we also got a chance to see, which was one of the main reasons why yeah. we wanted to actually camp out there uh, at Deep Creek. The otters? Was the boats. The boats. The but we saw a lot boats. of otters, too. Well, we saw otters, too. Yeah, so... But the boats. Yeah, so last how they time. they launched and mm -hmm. retrieved. And then coming in, when they're, when they're pulling them in, Mm -hmm. Launching them's cool because they, they literally, they back them in, they stop abruptly, and then they just keep going out. The boats do. But then coming in, these boats are coming in, I mean, just full yes. throttle. I mean, they, they are wide they look open. like they are going to crash right into <laughs> that, uh, the, the trailer. But, yeah, that, that was really cool to see that. Yeah, that was and neat. Nice. I, and I, I want to say this is probably going to be in my top ten experiences and campgrounds for Alaska. Yeah, it's got to be right up there. Yeah. It's really nice. Yes. But we can't stay our whole five months there on the no. beach. We like must to. move on. Yeah. So we're heading up more inland mm -hmm. and eventually getting to Denali. That'll be exciting. Yeah. Bears maybe. But And maybe bears. So we're going to uh, make a few stops before we get to Denali. Yeah, chores. Yep, and do a few chores on the way. Well, this is quite the popular place, and it's only Thursday. Fred Meyer in Soldotna, but we are not here for grocery shopping this time. We are here to dump. And by the way, if you get the inclination, you cannot hunt here either on the premises. Well, there's not a spigot, so 
There's not a spigot, so we had to bring a pair of pliers. No, there's not a handle. Or a handle, there's a spigot. No handle. Travel day means another fuel day. Fuel day. This is gonna be a long travel day. Yeah, this is one of our longest travel days. Yeah. Uh, 240 miles. Uh-huh. So. But fuel's not bad, 380 here. 380 a gallon. Yeah, and we're in Sterling and not in Soldotna, so. You know what's so weird is Soldotna was like or 415. 415, yeah. Yeah, and but down at Nanilchek and up here it's 380. So it's cheaper, out cheaper in the, outside uh, of town. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And Soldat is much bigger. Go figure. What is working out to be a favorite stop of ours on the road to and from the Kenai is the Russian River Ferry parking lot. Especially since there's no one here. One maintenance guy. And nobody else. And all that racket going on in the back. Ow! Is Sandra <laughs> rattling around making lunch. <laughs> Either she's making lunch or she's wanting new dishes and she's breaking our old ones. <laughs> as tiny. It was listed as tiny, but it didn't seem very tiny to me. It looked pretty decent. Yeah, we actually caught it on the way yeah, in. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Really neat. And it, it, I think, I thought it looked pretty decent. I mean, yeah. no one was surfing on it no, like when we saw it. But it was well defined. Yes, very well yeah. defined. So, pretty neat. Cool. A little further up Hatcher Pass, there's a pullout here. So we pulled out and uh, checking out the views. Uh, the claim to fame is gold mining. There's a historic site up here. We're going to get to it in a little bit. And the views, uh, a lot of good alpine views up here. And it is beautiful. Uh, they just had some fresh snow not too long ago, just a few days ago. So the, uh, the mountains have sprinkled with a little bit more snow, give it more, I'll say definition, sort of highlights some of the ridges. It's really, really neat up here. Beautiful. I don't think we have to worry about avalanches just yet. I don't think so either. Oh, entering Independent Mine State Historical Park. And we're near the end of the paved section. <laughs> Summit Lake. Summit Lake. Another Summit Lake. 
Good news, bad news. The good news is that we can still walk up there. The bad news That's is good news. <laughs> <laughs> the bad news is they've got a sign that stays up there. I'm thinking this place is closed more than it's open. Yeah. Are we gonna do it? All right. I think we should do it. Yeah. Not there's a little bit of snow up there, but yeah. that's I never stopped us before. No. So I think we trudge on up there and yeah. and check it out. I bet the view is gonna be gorgeous from here. I think it will be too. It's uh, the Independence Mine, and we'll see what it's like up there. Yeah in the snow. So we made it up to the top of about a mile hike. That's what they said. I think it was longer than that. <laughs> Felt like two. Yeah. Trudging through the snow. There's some drifts up here, but yeah. we're here at the Independence Gold Mine historic site. Mm -hmm. And most of it is covered, covered in snow. snow. But it's uh it's pretty up here. You know it's beautiful. This is June 3rd. Man. Can you imagine back in the 1800s? <laughs> this is unbelievable. I mean, miners coming up here and and you know yeah unbelievable Were they up here in the winter do you think i don't know year, they, round? year round i think so yeah it was it's beautiful up here it's, it's uh quiet. really nice so quiet oh, there's these cute little animals i gotta figure out what they are oh yeah that's right you yeah. took several pictures of yeah. them so we found wildlife we did <laughs> so we're just gonna scope out the place oh. and then we're gonna head back yeah you know i think there's limits to touching the water <laughs> Technically, this is water. It is water, but it's not flowing water. No, it's not. It's cold. I don't think we're um, heading up that road. No, we'll have to pass on Hatcher Pass this yes. time. The um, original plan was to drive up to where we are mm -hmm. now and then to go maybe a little ways. Yeah, check it out? Yeah, just to check it out. <laughs> we would if the gate wasn't there. Well, yeah. And there's no guardrails on that road. Yeah, and if you could actually see the road, it's kind of covered in snow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's head down. We have some lunch. Lower elevation, get some lunch, and maybe see some pups. Oh, that'd be cute. We're in Wasilla mm -hmm. towards the end of the day. It's been a good day. Yes, it has. A lot of fun. But we've got to check out the pups. Yeah. You can't come to Wasilla and not visit the headquarters for the, the Iditarod. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to check them out, go in the visitor center, and then maybe... Hopefully. We'll get a ride. Hopefully. Yeah. We could use these guys up at uh, Hatcher Pass. <laughs> <laughs> really trying to get over that uh, yeah. pass there. So we're going to see if uh, they're going to let us uh, do a little ride. Mm-hmm. Ready? Wow! <laughs> Good boys, you guys hop right up. Good boys. Oh my goodness. Charlie! Hey guys! Alright. Shouldn't have had that extra piece of pizza. <laughs> They're just trotting. Yeah. This is no big deal to them. And a good idea to hot dog rests just as good as they run. That's right but for, to wake up from a nap and then just start yeah, running, exactly. that's yeah, pretty so impressive. Start to loosen up here shortly and then they hit the gas pedal. All right. Cruising around. This no boys, hooky boogie. Oh, we're going fast. Oh, we're going fast for now. <laughs> Whoa. Woo <laughs> Get up. Oh, they're kicking up dirt. They are starting to get into it now. They are. Yeah. Oh. They are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, real sweet, happy boys. So yeah, uh, Forker on the back left is brothers. Uh, so him, Pavlov, Kasugi, Moose, Pavel. and Redoubt here. They're all brothers and Kobe. Oh, no brown, kidding. Brown guy's their dad. Oh, wow. All in the family. Yep. Another travel day means... More fueling. More fueling. Woo! But it's been a couple of days, so I missed it. Yeah, but we haven't traveled in two days. <laughs> well, okay, that's beside the point. <laughs> and this is the cheapest we've paid for fuel, right? Yeah, 374 a gallon. Since the beginning of our trip. Yep, yep. So this is the cheapest up in Alaska. So that's nice. It's going down. Going down. Hopefully it keeps going. Yeah, I know we're in Talkeetna, but you're taking us on the back roads. <laughs> Is there many places in Alaska that aren't a back road? Oh, that's true. Yeah, this is actually a campground and a boat launch. Wow, an actual campground. Yeah, with designated spaces. Ooh. Yeah, no hookups, but <laughs> of designated course. spaces. Par for the course. Yes. Wow, I like their sign. Sign's nice. Your destination is ahead on the right. Okay. Let's see what the uh, campground looks like. See if they have any spots available because this is first come, first serve. Yes. But it's on a Sunday, so. It is, yes. I have to register and everything. Yeah, and it's an open sign. Open. No snow, no water. Make a U-turn if possible. Woo! It's like hitting the lottery. Twenty-five dollars per day for dry camping. Yes, you're in Talkeetna. Three nights, it might be four. Okay, well, why don't we pay for three, and then um, if you decide to stay an extra, you can come in. Sounds good. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. And we just so roll around and pick a yeah, site. We just pick a site. So okay. okay. So they assign sites? No, just drive around and look for one. All right. So I got us for three nights, and if we want to stay longer, we just come in and okay. well, pay for nice. another night. Well, that's nice because it's first come, first serve, then we don't have to worry about getting evicted. Yeah, exactly. And uh, so that's nice and flexible mm -hmm. for us. So we'll go and we'll choose one, disconnect, and then we'll go dump and fill. Sounds like a good plan. Woo! So this is on the other side of the railroad ta tracks, the fancy full hookup campground, which we're not going to. <laughs> <laughs> but we're here to dump and fill. Yeah. Now we just got to figure out where. This is exit only. Is that the dump and fill station? So maybe that's the dump and fill right there. Yeah. Looks like a campsite. It does. That's what I thought it was at first. And that might be the office there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is tight in here. And right. there is literally the train. Whoops. Right there. Right. Right there. Wow. <laughs> I mean, like, in your wow. backyard. This place is tight.
our site for several days in Talkeetna. I think it will do. If this is roughing it, give me some more rough. Oh look, I'm taller than you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get used to it. <laughs> so where the Susitna and the Talkeetna rivers converge, mm -hmm. that's not where we're camped. No. We're, we're camped back there. Yeah, just probably not even a mile upstream from uh, from here on the Talkeetna River. Less than that, actually. Right, yeah. but over here is a S River. Susitna River. The Susitna River, <laughs> yes. And it's flowing. It is. Um, it's amazing how these jet boats can just cruise around here so easily. But, oh, yeah. Uh, the fish aren't coming yet. Not yet. Got to go to the coast. Mm hmm Well, we got to wandering again. <laughs> <laughs> so what else is new? Yeah, but so, so now we found a secret pathway to get from our campsite into town. That's like a shortcut that can shave off, I don't know, a mile or two. That's right. And so it's just up the river. We're not going to tell anybody. No. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> All right, and through the trees and by a couple of rocks and over oh, a I few know. puddles. Here we are. No one knows about it. It's a parking lot, but no one knows the secret path. Yeah. Downtown Talkeetna. It's a little bit Alaska. It's a little bit tourist. It's a very eclectic, fun town. Kind of neat. Look at this rhubarb. Oh man. I mean, wow. This stuff grows like weeds here in Alaska. That's almost a hedge. It is. It's incredible. And you can eat it. Yeah, you can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Where did everybody go? I don't know. <laughs> we got here, what, a couple hours ago and the yep. place was packed. Oh, packed wall to wall. Yeah, but just like Skagway, it's very <laughs> tourist centric. Cent yes, yes, very yes, very tourist friendly, but very tourist centric. Yes, and um, so I guess when the cruise ships come in, so do all the people, and then when cruise ships leave, so do all the people. Yep, all the tour buses were coming in, yeah. and like salmon swimming upstream, when those buses came in, man, everybody oh, was. Yeah, it was crazy going to meet them. But now there's not a lot of people, and it's actually quite pleasant. It's very nice. <laughs> Saw that walking around. <laughs> Got a little hungry. And we couldn't make it home. We couldn't. <laughs> so, so we, we uh, looks like some really good food here in Chefs. So I got the halibut tacos and you got the salmon crunch. Salmon crunch. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a pizza made out of fried cheese, basically. Yeah, it looks good. Or sauteed cheese. Yeah, but... It's expensive. It is, but hey, we're in Alaska, so you got to go with salmon and halibut. That's right. If we're doing really well on our fresh and gray water the day before we're going to dump, that's usually when I take advantage of the situation and do some food prep. And yesterday, we were feeling like something really, really tasty. So I went ahead and, whoops, it's almost done. I went ahead and made some uh, chocolate chip cookie dough right here and I still have to form them and let me check on the cookies yep just a few more minutes so we're gonna have a hot fudge cookie sundae so we've got the nuts chopped David's gonna scoop the ice cream we've got our big cookies in there and I am warming up the dark chocolate ganache with the heat coming off the toaster oven now we're still dry camping and we've got another I don't know 20 more days of dry camping but you do have to splurge and this is gonna we're running the generator for about 15 minutes while the cookies bake but sometimes you just got to treat yourself hmm yeah this is roughing it yep I feel bad for all the people the city folk <laughs> <laughs> all right today we're gonna do something a little different different we're going to a hurricane 
Not away from it. Not escaping, not evacuating. We're going to a hurricane. We're storm chasers. Man. Yeah. <laughs> hurricane Alaska. <laughs> so to get to Hurricane Alaska, we're going to take... Oh, is that the actual town? Actually, that is the actual <laughs> town. <laughs> oh, okay. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> we're going to take the flag train. Mm -hmm. The flag train is very unique. There's really only a few left in the United States. It goes up to Hurricane, mm -hmm. stops for about an hour, and then it returns. But on the way, it'll make about six or seven stops. Scheduled. Scheduled. And then... If anyone who lives out there in the outback wants to get on the train, they just go up to the train tracks and I guess with a flag or they just waving or yeah. something, train will stop, pick them up and on it goes. And then they can get right off whenever they want. And we could too, but there's only one train that goes up and back. That's right. So we'd have to spend the night. That's right. I'm not doing that. Even though I packed <laughs> enough stuff for it, you I'm not doing did pack enough it. stuff for it. Okay, we are on the train said to go to the very first car. A little maze in here. Ooh, snacks. That's important to know where those are at. Watch your head. Really? And your step. Yeah. Well, how do you know when you get to the first car? Yeah. Can't go anymore. <laughs> Did you feel that? No. Oh. <laughs> this guy knows how to drive a train. the hurricane flag train. And I'm allowed to stand up. That's right, standing up, walking around, doing whatever. Uh, over, it's a <laughs> all day affair. The first thing I need you to do is please check the seat pockets in front of you and pull out the safety card. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> we don't have them either. I don't want you to have them. I want you to walk around. I want you to get great pictures. These are not going to put me on a hit us in the head. We don't need them. We have great Alaska oxygen up here. These seat cushions in your chairs, they do not float. <laughs> we land in that river. We are not going to want to stay in it. We are going to hightail it right out of there because a week and a half ago is covered in ice. We might be in trouble on the way back because they said if they see a moose or a bear they're gonna stop oh. and go in reverse that would be cool that'd be really cool to see now when are you gonna start doing that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if they, if they yeah. can back a train up to go see a moose so can you yeah but we can't because we got the jeep behind us oh. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Stupid me. I outsmarted myself. So I made our hummus peanut sandwiches and I put them back in the fridge and then I forgot to pack them. So we're going to the backup and I always carry a backup meal which is usually a mountain house. So this is what we're having for lunch and Mary was nice enough to let me have some hot water. So <laughs> this is what we're having for lunch. Oh, look at the animals. Uh, the guys. The train, there's people. Hey, there's some people being dropped off today. They're kayakers. They're rafting back. We are nearing the end of the hurricane flag train trip. Say that three times fast. Man, I tell you, these guys are phenomenal. They are fantastic. They're wonderful. And they're here for the experience as well. This isn't just a job for them. This is a passion. Yeah. And they they want to see wildlife. They want to see the views. They want to just... Oh yeah, they are on they the lookout for bad. bears oh, yeah. and moose and... But what's really cool is they have a lot of autonomy. Is that the word? Uh, in, they're empowered. Empowered. And autonomy, yeah. Yes, because if they see something, they could just stop the train and yeah. back up. And they did. We've done that like Multiple three, times. four times yeah. on this trip. And so uh, it was great. Neat. Yeah. yeah. So, um, it's neat. Especially when we got to the hurricane bridge, or we, we passed that one uh, one train, uh -huh. then we had the whole tracks for ourselves for the rest of the day. Yeah. And that, that was really neat. Yeah, we stopped at a place that they hadn't been able to this year, and because it was a beautiful day, and yeah. so we just stopped on the track, and we got out for 10 minutes. It yeah. was really neat. And it was just, today has been phenomenal. cloudy all day. We were not expecting to see Denali, but we saw her in all her glory. It was yes. absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful day. Oh, man, yeah. it was gorgeous. And the, the view uh, from the bridge, uh, the trestle, yeah. uh, over uh, Hurricane Canyon. Yeah. Amazing. 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 Unbelievable. Yeah. So, but it's uh, nearing the end, so we're going to be uh, getting to the depot here pretty quickly. Uh -huh. And uh, we hope you guys uh, enjoy this uh, section of it. <laughs> We're obviously not on the train by ourselves. No. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to take you on uh, up, see uh, more of Alaska.